Hello and welcome. Thank you for sharing this meditation with me. In this meditation, I want to focus on releasing any emotional pain you are experiencing and understanding its origin to stop it from reoccurring. So together, let's take a deep breath. Drop our shoulders. And find a stillness. A peace within you. The most important teaching to remember during this meditation is you are the creator of your emotions, not the victim. I would like to gently guide you to a place of deep relaxation so we can address what you're experiencing right now and share some profound teachings to help you view what I call red light emotions in a different light. These emotions may be what you label fear, anxiety, rejection, abandonment, inadequacy. These are indeed powerful feelings. Like red lights, they can stop us in our tracks, causing immense pain and distress. But remember, just like a red light doesn't signify the end of the road, your emotions do not define you. Surprisingly, These intense red light feelings can be seen as helpful. Pointing you to an entry point for understanding what needs your immediate love and attention. This is a spiritual journey. A journey that empowers you to understand And then you can release the hold, the hold that the emotions are having, paving a way for your peace and connecting to your inner strength. So before we begin to go deeper, Take a moment to acknowledge the emotions you may be experiencing right now. As before, take that deep breath. Breathe in calm. Breathe out tension. Dropping those shoulders, relaxing your biceps, and for a moment, be still with that emotion. Don't judge the emotion. Become the observer. Observe the sensation in your body with curiosity. Is it a tightness in your chest? A knot in your stomach? Or a wave washing over you? Observe and recognize these feelings. Maybe consider them as messengers, not enemies. Maybe they're here 
to tell you something important. So let's go deeper into our meditation, increasing your focus and control. And let's see if we can go past the emotional feeling to the sacred message that lies beyond. Can you imagine a center line like a core of an apple that travels down from the highest point in your head? Slowly, carefully, guide this center line behind your eyes, behind your nose, between your ears. That's good. Slowly, carefully, plotting a course behind your mouth, through the center of your throat. between your shoulders, through the center of your chest, diaphragm, between your ribcage, hips, through the center of your abdomen, and out between your legs. and strengthen this center core within you. And first of all, use it as a balance, a physical balance, that your head is floating on your shoulders, not too far forward or back, neither left nor right. Shoulders are a mirror image. Shoulder blades, can you relax them more? Your chest. So whether you're sitting, lying, or walking, you're bringing yourself into a very natural, authentic, physical balance. This takes practice, but become aware of the nuances of your physical body and find the power that lies in balance, softness, flexibility. And when you're ready to continue, let us use this line to help us with our breathing, directing the breath down through the center line. In the same way, do not force or push. Just quietly observe the breath. Notice how your chest and your breath harmonize, rising and falling, just like nature, like the waves coming in on a beautiful beach. But this is where you can focus and control. You can deepen and relax your diaphragm. And you can use your wonderful creative powers with every breath. You can turn your face toward the sun. Feel the heat, the warmth.
and allow the shadows of your past to fall behind you. This is now time to take control, to shift your focus from the emotional storm. Let's find the root of it all. Understanding that emotions are not stored in your body like luggage, but they are memories and beliefs, perceptions shaped by your past experiences. Relax now. Can you remember some of these experiences, especially those from your childhood? Like unresolved echoes, childhood fear, hurt, injustice, unfairness. Just like a broken record playing on repeat. These are the beliefs, the memories, the thoughts, the echoes that fuel these intense, powerful emotions that you feel today. We cannot change the past. We don't possess a time machine. But we can change our relationship with it. You haven't got the power to change things that happened to you 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. But you are immensely powerful to change the way you choose to look at it. Right now, you could imagine those memories and beliefs as chapters in your book, important chapters, something you went through. But you can close that chapter. You do not have to keep rereading. This is in your power. They are part of your story. They are real. We are not saying forget them. But they do not define you. Unless, of course, you want them to. This is the power that you hold. This is your enlightenment. You can now close the chapter. And let it go. You can release the grip. The past has had on you. This is time to grasp you who you are. You are not your past. You are worth more than that. You are amazing. You are victorious. I don't know how you got through those chapters in your life, but you did. Is it your time to let go? 
And as you look over those chapters, maybe you can visualize a younger version of yourself. When you were filled with uncertainty and confusion, and you didn't know who to trust, perhaps you didn't know what was right. This part of your mind is what I call the inner child. Is it still holding on to unresolved issues? Unfairnesses, injustices? Is it still looking to get a payback, to bring justice? Is this what's keeping the chapters open? Perhaps now we can just reach out to our child with love and compassion. Because maybe those emotions, so strong, so intense, is the language of our inner child. And perhaps now it's time to listen with an open heart. And to bring that child closer to us. To look past the emotions and to see the root, the cause. To see this child needing something that we can give it. Love, kindness, time, space. And as you do this, as you connect your inner child, right now you may experience different, various emotions. This is the way it's been trying to get your attention, reaching out for help in the only way it knows how. Can you let them flow through you without judgment? Can you observe them and allow them to be like passing clouds? Acknowledging their presence, but not clinging to them. Not putting them round and round on the carousel. Can you go past that wave of emotion and hold your inner child Can you offer nurturing? A safe place? Can you offer your child something that you never had? Can you pave a way for a future filled with joy, peace. Can you appreciate your child's resilience despite everything? Nothing could hold it down. It is victorious. Can you come together as one? Can 
and you connect with each other. Can you simply hold hands with your inner child and step together into the sun, into the dawn of a new beginning where the emotions still flow but they are the emotions of joy, love, kindness. You can still acknowledge every emotion. But as you begin to understand the language of your child, if you could begin to see this togetherness, that you can never be alone, You can never be abandoned, rejected. You have each other. You are empowered. No one has ever broken this connection. And no one will. You are a coping machine. You are lovable and deserving. And you are on this unique journey together. Just for a moment, reconnect with the rhythm of your breath. Hold your child closely. And let your breath guide you. Find your unique rhythm. There is no one in the universe like you. You are unique. Just be quiet for a moment and listen. And look through the emotion to the message. This is just your child crying, needing someone that will stand by their side, that will not let them down, that will not get distracted that will begin to understand the language that they use. will be there for them through the twists and turns, the ebbs and the flows. That will never lead them. That will never criticize, compare or be judgmental. Someone that can flow through life with like a gentle river. Flowing on your path to reach your true potential. Look at all the wonderful things you've achieved so far. Imagine Imagine being in harmony with your child, working as an unstoppable team. Imagine the excitement. 
Imagine those emotions of meeting your challenges with an open heart. Imagine the emotion of confidence growing inside of you right now, that nothing can knock you down. This can be a new beginning. A new beginning where emotions do not control you. You are the creator. No one can ever feel your emotions. It's now time to turn those from red light emotions of negativity into green light emotions. Positivity, joy, happiness. Just like that sun shining on your face. Let it flow down through your relaxed body now. Let it connect to your center line and spread through your body. And walk with the warmth of the sun in your face and the shadows of the past behind you from now on. So before we finish, remember, this is a journey, not a destination. There will be moments of wonderful clarity and togetherness, and there will be moments of challenge. This is the time to be patient. Practice this meditation regularly. Extend compassion to yourself and your inner child. It's time to let go of the past because it's only in your mind. It's time to walk with grace, with flow. It's time to let the wisdom that you hold illuminate the path to peace and knowing that every emotion is a stepping stone to you understanding yourself more and connecting to your inner child. So finally, we'll just breathe together. Scan our body. No tension. Feel that warmth flowing through your body as I count to seven. And with you connected to your inner child, let that warmth of love, peace, happiness, more importantly, your unique authenticity, grow stronger and stronger. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can open your eyes whenever you want. Come back into the room. It's always a good idea just to give yourself a little shake and wake up. And when you're back safe and sound, I hope you enjoyed our meditation together. I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Until then, Yi Dao, Chi Dao.